I actually didn't know until I made this video, but is a well-known word in Western country. Hello everybody, it's Saki. Welcome back to my channel. So Japanese is a minority language because it's a small country, but because we have a unique culture and export things to the world, there are many Japanese words that are used in other countries. So today I'm going to share 15 Japanese words that you are using in your daily life. These are the ones that are often used or that I found it interesting and some of them might be the ones that you are using without knowing they are Japanese. To be honest, even I was surprised that the Japanese are going worldwide, so it's gonna be interesting. Let's get started. Teriyaki is one of the most famous Japanese flavors, so I'm sure you have seen this word before. But I wonder how many of you actually know that it's a Japanese word because I've seen so many teriyaki on the menu when I went to Korean restaurants or Malaysian restaurants in Western countries. In Japan, you would never see teriyaki on the menu when you go to Korean, Thai, Chinese restaurant because it's Japanese. When I first went to the US to study, my host sister said, oh, I like hot sake. I was excited because I didn't know American people also use sake, Japanese word, but at the same time, I was a little bit confused. In Japan, sake means all the alcoholic drinks in general, so it doesn't particularly mean rice wine. When we refer to rice wine, we say nihonshi, that literally means Japanese alcohol. So there is a Californian burger chain called Umami Burger and they came to Japan a few years ago. And I was wondering why American company is using a Japanese word for their name, but recently the word Umami is used all over the world nowadays <laughs> because Uncle Roger was talking about it in his video. Umami literally means like tasty taste and I can't really find a suitable word in English but the closest one would be savory. I actually didn't know until I made this video but panko is a well-known word in western country. You can also call it breadcrumbs, breadcrumbs. But specifically speaking, panko is made from white bread, only white bread. Funny thing, but in Japan, we call bread a pan. So that's why we call them panko. I didn't know until recently, but bento is the word many people use nowadays. And seems like that particularly means Japanese style lunchbox. I think Western packed lunch is very simple and handy. Compared to that, Japanese bento box is very creative and they actually care about how we looks even. So I guess that's why the word bento has become so common. So you probably already know that matcha is a Japanese word, but the origin of matcha is from China. It came to Japan in Kamakura period and I guess Japan made it famous to the world. In Japan, matcha is more popular to mix with some kind of sweets like ice cream or cookies, but seems like some Western people think that it's weird to mix tea with sweets. If I think about it, that's kind of true, but we don't care. We just love it. <laughs> Motainai is a unique feeling that originally came from Buddhism. When non-Japanese people use this word, seems like it's used as mostly wasteful or not eco-friendly. In Japan, it's basically the same, but it's not necessarily related to environmental issues. For example, let's say I am a really bad person and dating with this guy with a really warm heart. Then I would say he is motainai for me, like he deserves better. Or it can be someone's skill, like 
hey, you can speak English, use it in your work, or it will be mottai nai. It's kind of hard to explain, but we use this word in many ways. Growing up in Japan can be really difficult because there are so much social expectation in this country. And some people who couldn't fit in this culture become hikikomori. Although this type of social withdrawal is becoming a big issue in many countries, Japan is still a leading country that has this issue for a long time. So yeah, definitely it's not a positive word. I was so sad that this word became more noticed in other countries. Karoshi, which means overwork death, is a serious issue in Japan. Although many big companies are trying to improve their working environment, I still see this kind of news pretty often. So this is not the word we are proud of. You know, Japan is all about animated things, so emoji is of course one of our invention. It means drawing and moji means words, so it means drawing words, if that makes sense. And because this word became so common, maybe some people don't know it's a Japanese word. This is also related to Japanese anime. When I first realized that hentai means anime porn, I kind of understood but it didn't really make sense to me because in Japan, hentai usually means people who have an unusual fetish or preference. So it doesn't particularly mean animated porn. I'm kind of curious why it's called hentai now. When I first went to the US, I saw the sign at the beach that said Tsunami Hazard. I think I took a picture of it because I was so excited. <laughs> I thought it was interesting when I found that Shiatsu is used in many countries because I thought it was a Chinese method. But Actually, this is established by a Japanese person, Tokujiro Namikoshi. She means finger and atsu means pressure, so it perfectly makes sense, right? I was curious why people call number place Sudoku even though that's an American invention. Seems like it started when some New Zealand guy bought Sudoku from Japanese bookstore and made a computer game with it. And he sold that program to Times. Times is a Japanese publisher and they released that program as Sudoku and that became popular. Isn't that interesting? And the last one is karaoke which we pronounce karaoke. You probably already know that karaoke is a Japanese word, but Japanese karaoke is a little bit different. In Japan, karaoke has a individual rooms and you can sing by yourself or only with your friends. So we never sing in front of a bunch of strangers like Western people do. So these are the 15 Japanese words you probably use in your daily life. This is only my list, so of course there are so many more Japanese words you are using. But did you know all of them and their background? Also, do you use other Japanese words? Please let me know in the comment section down below. If you thought this video was interesting, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I update more content on Instagram and as always thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!